710 ESPN Seattle presents Brock and Salk's Wrap Up. Powered by the law offices of Heidi Hunt. Tony Roden, one and done. What? Brock's not buying it. That's next. both watching the Huskies last night, Brock, and while I was consumed with Abdul Gaddy and my general disappointment in him, you as usual focus on Tony Roden, and they managed to win without him, right? He wasn't in there for the final few minutes of the game as they were going on their big run. It was just earlier this week, or late last week, right, where I put the video right here, mm -hmm. saying Tony Roden was the guy stepping up for them. He was the reason. He was taking charge when they really needed him to. Well, yesterday he was nowhere to be found, and yet they still got it done. Yeah, I don't think some of that changes. I think he still has a lot of the charisma. I think when you look at this group, there's just a lot of Indians on it. I don't think any of them necessarily are going to grab guys by the collar the same way he does. He's an emotional guy. He's also a freshman. And what you see out of freshmen are this, right? That's inconsistent. Totally inconsistent. And then and then I think when you have the fundamental flaws that he has right now, I mean, let's just face that as a freshman, when you can't particularly shoot from the line, you can't shoot three-pointers, you can't shoot mid-range, you can get to the hole as good as anybody. I get that. I understand that. But that's your only real strength. That's your NBA, you know, real value that you bring. And Doug Gottlieb, and I trust his opinion much more than my own, says, hey, yeah, it's a weak point guard class. He can come out and be a first-round pick. Someone's going to take him because of that body and that slashing ability to get to the rim. But if I'm Tony Roten, and maybe more importantly, if I'm Brandon Roy, I'd love for Brandon Roy to kind of say, hey, come here, kid. I was also one time a real stud in this city. I was also one time, you know, from the city and from Garfield and everything else. You're going to do yourself a lot of favors long term if you spend another year under Lorenzo. Well, and how good could he be by the end? That's what what is so almost scary to think about, right? When you've seen what Lorenzo Romar can do when given the opportunity mm -hmm. to coach a guy up over a couple of years, right? Whether it's Quincy Pondexter or Brandon Roy or whoever, the guy can coach and he knows how to make you better over time. <laughs> think about Tony Roten in two years. If he Hard to find around. a case study if he's going to evaluate that with his family and you look at it. Okay, let me go back and look at the precedent. Mm. Hard to find one that it didn't work. Okay, go look at Nate. Go look at Roy. Go look at Brockman. Go look at Pondexter. Go look at that body of work. If you're Tony Roten, that body of work and all those guys, yeah, they're just playing in the NBA and they've had some great careers too.